They refused us water and food for like she about four hours, and then finally, I guess someone said, "You better give them something to eat." Or, uh, Is this food different from what they had in there? Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, stale sandwiches. What's the, the, the exact number of people they let out thus far? I don't know, but there's still, still 100 people still locked up. We were five buses of us. Man, I think the buses hold like problems over at the 60 people uh, each. I already have nerve damage, and they, from previous police brutality, for when I was a minor, they used their knees to press my head into the ground until I almost passed out. And they twisted my leg and caused a, caused a nerve to be pinched. Then I straightened my leg, and they said that I kicked them. And they proceeded to put me on my chest and slam my head on the ground and put their knees with their full weight on my head until I almost passed out. That's where this came from. And then they picked me up and hauled me away. As they were going through my stuff, um, they were listing off everything, and he decided to add drugs to it, which I did not have. And I, they said I had rock cocaine and meth, which I no. didn't have. Oh, no. And I told him he was a liar. Then he's, his exact quote was, the pen has no conscience. And I told him he's corrupt, and he said, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> it wasn't until I was brought across the street, and I was screaming, remember Rampart? Mm -hmm. And they actually took that off of there. But the only charge they had for me was battery on a police officer. For the oh. supposed oh. kick, yeah? Yeah, and then I spent all day um, in a... They, I was in Van Nuys, and then today they moved me um, over to the courthouse... I believe the Superior Courthouse, and uh, I was in a holding cell all day with no food, and they let me go without ever seeing an attorney or a judge. And they dropped the they dropped the charges and everything. And they kept us on the bus for sweat. nine hours, and they made the men and women urinate on themselves. That's Tell them to cup their hands. And they kept us on the bus for Did nine. Did you notice the badge number of the officer who said oh, that? Oh, we got the names, yeah. Right on. And uh, they, nine hours. And Jesus people had to Christ. urinate on the so bus. And then they finally took us to downtown from Van Nuys to the Metro Detention Center. And then for hours, we had to sit on the, 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 in the parking lot in there. And they wouldn't give us any food or water until like around 4 o'clock. And they got us at 3.30 in the morning. The woman passed out on the bus that was on. Yeah, well, that was someone's mother. What's his name? Um, that's uh, what's his name? They, they beat her up at the time of arrest? Yeah, downtown, and then they told her she should have had her 80-year-old ass at home. That's what the police said. They had the zip ties on her so tight her hands were turning blue. Where is that woman right now? I think she's home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my hands were turning blue, and I go, God, I can't, I can't feel nothing. Shouldn't have been there. You should have listened to the mayor. You should have stayed home. No you water wanted, for you wanted food, you should, have, you should have been at home getting food. Yeah, and we kept saying, we want, they finally start bringing the sandwiches and stuff.